Well, morning fellow tiny gardeners. Um, this is going to be a, a quick update, I'll keep it brief. Um, but things are starting to grow. I'm just going to have a little tour around my few buckets here and uh, sit down. Now the first thing I want to show you, um, for anyone who's following it, um, this here is my overwintering potato challenge. Um, they've been earthed up three times in the bottom of the bucket and going great guns. Now that is just um, they were free shop bought Maris Pipers. Um, they'd started to chip, so chucked in a bucket of um, spent compost and left over winter. So that's that's my effort at the moment. Um, we'll wait and see if there's anything on the bottom. Now, um, garlic, garlic, plenty of garlic there. All, everything's grown in containers here. So uh, garlic's all coming on well. These are seedlings I planted out back in end of December, January. I've got collies, cabbage, radish, um, the little ones in the front there. These are strawberries starting to come through. Um, there's beetroots there. There's onions there. So uh, these are ready to go out, but some I've already planted out. If you try not to make you too dizzy. Um, we've got spinach. All coming on well there, just in a big plastic bucket. Um, there's a few lettuces in the front of there. If we come around here, we've got radishes. They're doing really well nice and uh, red bit showing in the bottom there so that's all good and then there's some spring onions uh, that's cabbage again and cauliflower and another cabbage I'll try and do this slowly because I don't want to make you all dizzy um, and in the back here we've got more cabbage and cauliflowers along the back row in this big plastic tub um, in the middle there doing quite well we've got these are swede in there and these in the front here these are these are my beetroot so they're all going quite well um quick pop back around here very slowly so you don't all get dizzy that's a project of mine which is a regrown shop bought celery literally from the old stalk cut it all off um and regrowing it so that seems to be doing something whether it would be edible um, remains to be seen and if we pop around here, we've got more radishes. Um, they're doing really well. That there is my carrots, and I don't know if you can see, but just starting to sprout and show signs of life. So that's all good. And this one, just coming through, these are my King Edward potatoes. These were um, chitted from seed potatoes um, to three buckets of them there. So. That's all looking good at the moment. Um, oh, I've got a rhubarb which was donated. So apparently it's an, uh, an elephant or giant rhubarb. That needs to go in a pot, but I do have one already in, which is there. And that's going really well in, a, in my bucket. So we'll see how that takes off and does. Um, a few flowers, not much. That one there. Uh, um, three Dutch irises in the front of there. Um, there's Dutch irises there, and over around the bottom of here, there's a little pot there. Um, that's all Dutch irises all coming up. Um, but I don't do many um, flowers, because uh, unfortunately for me, doing gardening, I suffer from horrendous hay fever. Um, but I do need to have some for pollinators, so I'm trying to put some good pollinators in. Um, I've got uh, like some wild... Um, mix um, which apparently is good for bees and butterflies etc so that's what we'll be doing a few of them just to um, get the pollinators in so anyway that was it really it's all i wanted to show you today very quick update there's a, a bit of an overview of how my 20 by 20 square foot concrete garden works everything in containers still got that lot to burn and get rid of i did inherit that which was being thrown away a beautiful great big planter so uh, I've got to scrounge up some topsoil now because I've run out of soil really so anyway yeah still got plenty of other jobs to do in the garden but for now that's just a quick update so you don't think I've disappeared off the face of the earth and uh, yeah things are growing things are moving hope yours are too and I look forward to seeing all your videos as well um, but if you're interested in my little plot um, click the button, subscribe, and um, we'll all catch up soon. And uh, I look forward to 
seeing your comments any comments at all uh, thumbs up would be great and yeah good luck with your garden and um, i'll get back to you soon and we'll see what the progress is bye bye